Hey guys, what's happening? PAX 2016. We're here with Jesse, co-founder, co-creative director of ARC. How exciting is this? This is crazy. I mean, it's, it's the most exciting thing we've done yet. I mean, we didn't know how big this thing was actually going to feel when we were in the booth. And we got here and we're like, wow, we're really going to let people ride that thing, huh? <laughs> so we have two waivers that people have to sign, but it's worth it. <laughs> the game what has the response been so far what, what are you hearing from the people that have played it you know the the uh, daily CCUs of survival of the fittest are on a constant upswing as more people hear about the game more people try it uh, they hear about our survivor league where we just had our first payout we did sixty six thousand dollars of prize pool for the first month of ranked play so it's it's really awesome to see people come to the game get really good get their ranking up high and then be rewarded uh, for being not just a great player, but helping us polish the game, make it better, find the things that need improvement, and give us the feedback to really try to make this one of the most unique competitive games on the market, which is really our goal. Yeah, and I think you guys are hitting that. We started to talk just briefly a second ago that just how far you guys have come, is for me, is just amazing. It's really good to see all the hours paying off and just the filing two game coming out of it. Jake? No, for sure. This is definitely the centerpiece of PAX for everybody. And it's like to walk by this and not be a little bit of me. Yeah, it literally is kind of in the center, too. Yeah, no, it is smack dab. How long did that take to set up? You know, the setup was a few days, and actually I'm even more surprised that we went, I think, from concept to completion on this whole dyno in the booth in about four weeks. Oh, wow. You wouldn't think what happened, but the, the trade group who helped us put this together was just amazing. Like, who? I just can't imagine the guy that came in that day is like, let's just do a giant dinosaur this time. I'm tired of tiny booths. We're coming out. We're coming out strong. Giant dinosaur. That's it. <laughs> but no, uh, competitively, uh, what, how, how is the match? How are the matches set up? I'm pretty interested about that. I love the set of the game. So there's four game modes right now. We've got free for all, which is just every man for themselves. We've got two player tribes, four player tribes, and six player tribes. And each mode is a little bit longer. Uh, on the extremes, we've got a little bit different rules. Uh, in free for all, uh, we, we remove the need to like level up and earn engrams, so everything's kind of unlocked. You can just apply things. Uh, and then in the six player mode, we have the option of having the boss creatures in the match, which are dragon. Ape and um, Spider, and so um, I'm not sure if we're going to put that those uh, right long term in uh, one of, or more of the game modes. It's kind of one of those things that develop over time with the community. You're testing it. Right, yeah. Uh, but it, it, it does have a, a very different uh, dynamic when those creatures are in the game. As you can say, I for one hope that they stay in. I know how it is though, like some people can find it too difficult or disorienting, but I think it sounds awesome. It's definitely going to set you apart. Yeah, and for Sony fans, you guys are finally coming to PS4. That's very exciting, right? Yeah, it's really exciting for us, too. You know, we're not a huge studio, and for us, we really wanted to get on a PlayStation 4 as soon as we could. But being, you know, not the biggest team, actually developing on three platforms the same game at once actually causes a lot of problems for us technically, butting heads and things like that. So for us, it's actually easier to say, all right, we're going to do Survival Evolved on Xbox, and we're going to do Survival of the Fittest on PlayStation. That way we're not stepping on each other's toes. And then when we go to the final release, the game will be available, both of them on all platforms, and everybody now can play some version of ARC, uh, and eventually everybody will be able to choose whichever version they want or both, regardless of what platform they're on. And that was just awesome. Uh, James Competitive gaming. So, are you guys targeting or trying to? Do you see this getting into esports at all, or what? Oh, definitely. Um, you know, we started doing these physical tournaments at uh, PAX Prime last year, and we were like, "Wow, that was really fun." So, when we started thinking about this booth for PAX East, you know, we've got Arc Survival Evolved. Of course, that's like the big uh, money maker, right? That's why we're able to develop this game and not monetize it yet. We really want to get it right. At the top of our minds, though, was like, how fun was that tournament at PAX Prime? Let's do a bigger tournament at PAX East, like make the whole booth about survival of the fittest, and let's announce PlayStation, and let's keep pushing the physical tournament. So you'll see us as we have our rank play. We're going to be doing some like international stuff. Uh, Tournament-wise, uh, and even having physical championships coming up in the next year that we're going to announce pretty soon. 
Life. Listen, Jesse, congratulations, man. It's just things are going well. Looks great. Thank you for taking some time with us. Thank you, guys. Check out Ark Survival of the Fittest. Come to PS4. You have a time on that, or J uh, July 19th? It's going to be on PS4. So I can't wait. Awesome. Very excited. Keep it here. All things Ark on Press Start TV. Ah.